If you're just tuning in, there are emergency evacuations in some parts of Townsend right now because of wildfire activity. Well, Six on Your Side reporter Lexi Spivak joins us now from outside of Tuckalichi United Methodist Church, where a shelter has been set up. And Lexi, get us caught up on what's happening there. Teresa Allison, we are at the Tuckalichi United Methodist Church in the Townsend area, one of two shelters that are open right now. Now you may notice I'm trying to protect my microphone here with my jacket. The wind gust up here this morning has been unbelievable. Right now it's relatively calm, but then all of a sudden they'll come out of nowhere. We know that that was a big concern for fire crews throughout the morning. Now again, I'm at one of the two emergency shelters that are set up with the Red Cross. And right now we are told that there's about maybe more than a dozen, 15 to 20 people here at this time. There might be only five inside, but we know there's a lot of people waiting in their cars in the parking lot here because they have their pets and their vehicles with them. Right when we pulled up actually just a little bit ago, about four other cars followed us in with their pets in their cars with them. Okay, so again, still a pretty active area here this morning. Want to go over what areas this evacuation applies to. Okay, so we want to note that this is an evacuation for Old Cades Cove Road at the intersection of Old Cades Cove Dry Valley Road and LaCroix road up to the park line due to the wildfire behavior. Okay, now that started about three hours ago, those evacuations. Now we also want to go over the address for where we are right now in case you're looking for one of these shelters. Okay, so the Tuckalichi United Methodist Church at 7322 Old Tuckalichi Road. Then you also have the Rio Townsend, which is that second shelter that we've mentioned, that is 325 Webb Road. Okay, now also guys, we want to take note that really on our drive up here, we we didn't see too much of the flames from where we were driving. We also don't have an overwhelming smell of smoke in the air, but that doesn't mean that this isn't an active situation. Again, we are at the shelters here, so it should be a good distance away from where those fires are. Of course, we're going to keep you updated. We did just see some firefighters and police officers pull up here, so we're going to get the latest from them, hopefully, and keep you updated throughout the morning. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you so much, Lexi. You guys be careful out there.